There is, oh, look at this face, a new member of the Arizona Coyotes, and she walks on four legs. Take a look at Luna. What a beauty. She works at the Gila River Arena as part of her training to be a service animal. And Tressa is joining us this morning with more on the adorable pup and the important work she's ready to do. Good morning. Good morning, guys. I think I might just have the best job ever getting to hang out with the newest and definitely cutest member of the Arizona Coyotes, Luna. And this is her caretaker, Cole. Cole, tell me a little bit about Nuna's plan, uh, Luna's plan moving forward. Yeah, so the Coyotes adopted her and we're going to be training her for the next 12 to 18 months. And once she's done with kind of the basic obedience training, she'll be serving a veteran who suffers from a PC PTSD or a mobile illness. Tell me a little bit more about Natty and just the program and how others can get involved. Yeah, so they're a nonprofit based out of Scottsdale, founded by a veteran, and they kind of raise service dogs as puppies and do the official training and get them certified and then place them with a veteran. So it's a great program. How has Luna's uh, response been among the other players on the Arizona Coyotes? The guys love her. It's funny. She's just quite the star, and they're always begging for her to come down to the locker room, but she's got to get some work done, too, so she can't always just be playing. <laughs> I saw that she has a team bio as well, and her best friend is Howler. And what is the story behind the name Luna? Yeah, so we put out a fan, like a internal poll amongst our staff, and Luna just was a good fit with the coyotes being the, the moon in our Kachina logo, and Luna means spoon or moon in Spanish. So it was a good natural fit. And she's going to be training and learning all the different sounds of the ice arena. Yeah, so she's came out to our first preseason game and got used to the goal horn. And she's been on the ice a little bit with the players and the sticks and the pucks. And she's certainly a hockey fan. Have you thought about what it's going to be like a year from now when you have to give her up to a veteran? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a challenge and we're dreading that day already. But um, we're going to make the most of the next 12 months and know that it's going to a good cause and paying it forward. Luna's future, what are some of the things that she'll be doing possibly with some of the veterans? So anything from turning on the lights, turning off the lights, getting things out of the fridge, opening doors, carrying groceries, any daily tasks that someone might struggle with, the dogs can usually find a way to help out. And she's over here too, just being so chill and calm. Is her temperament always like this good? Yeah, she's pretty calm <laughs> puppy, so we're, we're lucky in that sense, but we tried to get her some exercise in the office, play and fetch with her, and all the employees love having her around. Has she been on the ice yet? She has, and it was an interesting experience. I mean, growing up in Arizona, she probably won't be experiencing much <laughs> ice in her lifetime, but uh, she was loving every moment of it. Thank you so much, Cole, for joining us, and we'll be right back.